there are some people who think that creativity can't be taught, but I think that some people seem to be more creative maybe because they were exposed to creative activities earlier on in their lives, in the same way that some students appear to be better at English because they learned to read at an earlier age. And uh, if, we, if we focus on the theory and the principles of whatever we're trying to teach, then I, think we can, uh, then I think we can definitely get people to be more creative at whatever endeavor it is we're trying to teach. I think it's really important to teach students the history and the theory of our art because, uh, the history, because uh, as I mentioned before, students often confuse creativity with originality. And while originality is laudable, we want to make sure that they truly are doing something original and not just reinventing the wheel. And the theory, because a lot of times people have the idea that film is just something that people do because they have some sort of inborn talent that cannot be, uh, that can't be taught and that uh, can't be conveyed in any way. And I think that's not true. And I think if we try to reduce as much of what we do to some kind of principles, then people understand that they can always improve on what they're doing, and they understand that there is a purpose to actually studying art. Matt always focused on the, uh, the history and the theory of editing a lot because that's what he felt was important. It was editing was the art and the tool we were using was just that, a tool to get to the art. Um, he always had his, his DVD of edit theory, which I, I think he, he might have made in his basement all by himself. But it was good. It had Lenny Riefenstahl on a trap of the will, and he would cite examples where they were used and how they were used and how we could use them. Um, it made us think more of what we were doing as an art and not just as cramming clips together. Something else Matt did was he encouraged you to look beyond his classroom. He suggested editors who were better than him, like Walter Murch and Lenny Riefenstahl, and you go and look at what they've done and the theories that they come up with, and you kind of take those to heart and start parodying them, but then you come up with your own theories because of that. Creativity begets creativity, and what that means is that if someone has an idea and you, you're influenced by an idea, you always try to uh, imitate it and no matter how flawless an imitation it might be like you come up with something new in the process because every time you tried to take something on you always leave a thumbprint and a mark of yourself and put a new creative spin on it. I believe that's where new ideas come from.